So this is my Pelican Kayak. I purchased my Pelican Kayak in kind of a fit of rage from Dick's Sporting Goods. About two years ago, and I've had to make some modifications on this in order for me to make it my own. Let's start at the front and work our way back here. At the front end, you're going to want to add these pulls if you don't already have them. Go ahead and add them. Over time, you're going to end up needing to replace this bungee. Kind of expect that to happen. Don't expect your drink to sit here. It's not going to work. The seat came with a padded cushion. That didn't work so well. You're not going to end up keeping that. These are not scupper holes. In other words, water does not come into them, but it will stay in them. Nice back, very comfortable. You can tighten it up and use it very good. So some of the issues I had were with these screws right here. I ended up having to use caulk, and then I ended up having to re-caulk them yet again because the caulk itself cracked. I also caulked them on the insides as well. And I think I need to do that once again. That's the one place that I've had an issue. All right, let's talk about some other modifications that I made. I added this paddle handle to hold your paddle. I think I would have put that in a different location if I had it to do all over again. My paddle tends to pop off of there easily. I'm not sure if it's the paddle handle itself or my location placement. These are really nice fishing pole holders. They hold them at an angle. I placed them both here because I had two little divots already there, and I've seen others with theirs located at that location. But that led me to another problem. I like to camp, and I didn't have a lot of room for my stuff, and I had seen other kayakers be able to place their items into this whole area, and all I had was this tiny little bucket, and that's way too small for the 30 pounds of stuff that I'm taking with me. So I opened this up. I used a Dremel, and I took my time. There is another YouTube video out there of someone using the same exact craft. He cut this entire piece out. I would not recommend that. He said that he had stability problems afterwards. Not only that, this is where every drop from your paddle goes. Without this, where does every drop go? Bloop, 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 directly inside. One issue I have had, because I've been in a lot of really rough water since I made this modification, is I have had a water issue. I plan on continuing to keep the original lid, but what I'm going to do is add some foam. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue and see how that will hold. Okay, so what I decided to do was to put my glue on the foam directly because it just ate this. Not in a bad way, it just disappeared quickly. So I'm going to put the foam on here and then once it's all in place, I'm going to use the lid to hold things down. I just need to get my second piece of foam all buttered up here. So this is what I've ended up with and I need to go ahead and put this top on here to hold these two pieces in place. Alright, so now I'm going to come back with a wet towel and clean up my mess real quick before anything gets dry. <laughs> 